Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Today we have some good news for Nike Goddess of Victory. So guess what happened? They decided to release a developer notes for all the bug fixes that they're going to perform from the end of November going into December. So we're going to check it out right here. Let's jump into it. So yeah, the official website into the developer's notes. So let's have a look what do they have to say regarding the bug fixes. So first things first, hello commanders, this is Yoo Hyung Seok, the director of Goddess of Victory, alright? So first of all, thanks to all you commanders for your love and support. Since the game's launch, we have received a lot of feedback about in-game bugs and issues players have encountered. We really appreciate this feedback and it will help us make improvements and deliver an improved gameplay experience. Finally, finally some sort of response regarding the bugs. We acknowledge that you want to see fixes implemented as soon as possible and we are working hard to make that happen. While we cannot provide a full timetable for all fixes, our very first step in achieving that is to publish the issues we expect to fix from the end of November to the beginning of December in today's developer's notes. Alright, so let's see what are the total things that they'll be fixing, hopefully addressing the issues. The following will be resolved by the end of November, which is end of this month. We have about like 7 more days to this month, so that's pretty cool. Uh, number one is the issue when notification reappears even when there are no available rewards in a day-by-day -day event. Okay, this is the red dot issue. It's a little bit annoying, but you guys might have uh, similar things, right? Day-by-day -day -day always have this red dot. And if you go in, probably there's nothing going on right there. There. Literally, there's nothing and you still get red dot. This seems like a simple thing to fix, but I have no idea that they're taking quite some time to fix this. So, not sure about that. Next, several display issues, such as the characters registered in Synchro Devices level being displayed as level 1. Okay, I have not encountered this yet. If anyone has encountered this, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Basically, you put characters in the Synchro Device and they are still level 1, so that's clearly a bug, right? The issue where the effect of enhanced critical damage of Maiden's skill 2 is not applied. This is specific to one character. Okay, I'm quite surprised. I do own Maiden, okay? I am not aware, however, of this particular uh, issue right here. So Maiden, I believe, is this girl right here. So her skill 2 is not uh, applied or something. So that is kind of insane. So they are focusing on hers first. Incorrect skill descriptions of several other characters. Oh no. So maybe some of it is not bug. Some of it is just incorrect skill description. It's not a bug. It's a feature. Oh, dang. So maybe Lyudmila don't have Torn! The issue where Rapture's core does not take any damage when it is attacked. Alright, so I'm not sure if I've experienced that specifically. The issue where occasionally the error message failed to sync combat information pops up after a stage is cleared. This one, yes. Sometimes you finish a very difficult stage, uh, you get annoyed. You're gonna get this error message, failed to sync combat information. They need to fix this ASAP. This is a very huge issue. Uh, many commanders have pointed out that the free gem in gift packs is not distinct enough. So we have made it clearer by calling this out. A free mark will also be added to the gem icon in the updated app in early December. This is one of the main earliest issues. Free paid gems are separate. So some packs, it's not clear enough which one is free gems, which one is paid gems. Not all paid gems are paid gems. So if you guys are not aware, this is how a lot of people find out because they go to this particular thing right here. There's a special banner where you're guaranteed one SSR Nikkei for 10 consecutive recruits and you will have to use paid gems, 2000. And a lot of players end up buying this. Not all paid gems are paid gems. Certain packages have some paid gems. Like the one from the 30 day supply probably isn't counted towards the paid gem. So that's something that hopefully they'll make it clearer for players to know which one is which. Furthermore, during early December, we will roll out fixes for the following. The issue when a notification does not disappear even when there are no available rewards in the infrastructure core. Okay, huh, this is specifically in the dorm site. The issue when a notification is not displayed properly in the simulation room, lost sector, harmony cube, recycling room, etc. So they're trying to focus. Their focus right now, it seems to be on the notification bug for the time being. That's what they are focusing uh, in the end of November, early of December. Improvements will also be made to the battle portion of the game. The issue where the critical rate is negative in certain situations. Alright, alright. So this is something that hopefully 
they'll fix this ASAP as well. This is something that they really need to start to work on. All right, so the issue where the screen shaking option, max frame rate after the interaction to the core, which reduces the final damage deal. So if you guys are not aware, I've made a video about this. Screen shake, turn it off, you get more damage. Uh, max frame rate, 60 FPS. The one I did test it, 30 FPS or 60 FPS doesn't seem to affect uh, the damage, at least for me, right? But apparently, they are here to address it, which is cool, right? Which is all that matters to me, right? At least the devs are aware of that, that 60 FPS, 30 FPS, or screen shake on or screen shake off, apparently do affect the final damage dealt. So hopefully, they're gonna address that. In addition, we will also fix issues related to combat mechanisms and skill errors. The issue where the charge rate of characters that use charged weapons affects the skill effect. The issue where Vesti skill damage is 1. Uh, and the problem that some characters attract effects cannot be activated. I've heard of this before. I, I don't own a Vesti, but apparently when she uses the skill, her burst or something, she does 1 damage, which is kind of sad. Uh, hopefully, they'll fix that, but that will be coming in December. Many gameplay issues will be resolved as well. So what else? The issue where the game crashes when players enter Harmony Cube under certain circumstances. The issue where some buffs in Simulation Room that should take effect randomly have a 100% chance of taking effect. Okay, this is where people abuse this bug like crazy. Uh, there are some bugs that you can abuse and it just becomes permanent buffs. I've heard of some characters that have that. The issue where Tyrant class raptures would stop moving in certain situations. The issue where the actual waiting time in Outpost Defense is longer than the time recorded and rewards given. Damn, I, I'm not aware of this. That sucks though if you experience that. The actual waiting time in Outpost Defense is longer than the time recorded and the rewards given. Uh, unfortunate. To provide commanders with a better gaming experience, we will also reduce the difficulty of the game so that players will not face a sharp decline in character stats in cases where the combat powers only differ by one. We are carefully testing and making sure the adjustment will not increase the difficulty of certain stages. Yo, that is cool. So there's no more that stupid debuff if enemy battle power is stronger than your overall battle power by one, you get that stupid uh, power creep nerf or whatever that, you know, 25% decrease stats. So they are aware of that and they are going to fix that. That is cool, man. That is cool. Uh, that's going to make it way more playable for a lot of free to play players. I think you guys can be happy. If you are free to play, man, I'm glad the devs are listening. I'm so glad. The anti-cheat feature will be enhanced and the sanctions for hackers will be strengthened. We will continue to monitor unfair behavior such as hacking and take necessary steps to improve our anti-cheat measures. Furthermore, issues such as players being unable to obtain rewards like lost relics will be fixed throughout December. Alright, if you discover any bugs, anything, please feel free to, uh, you know, send it to this particular website. So this looks like a customer service website and customer service email. Yeah, I will link it in the description below as well so you guys will have an easy access to it. I'm so glad the devs are actually finally addressing this. They could have addressed this sooner, like one week ago, but hey, better late than never. And you know, I do appreciate it. All right, we would like to take this opportunity to apologize to all of you for the issues you have encountered since launch and reiterate our determination to resolve any future problems you may experience. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you identify any other bugs and we will do our best to provide fixes as soon as possible. We will need to test and verify the problem before we take any actions. As such, we would like to ask for your kind understanding and patience since it might take some time for our customer support to respond. In addition to the bug fixes, we are continuously solving problems, any problems found in the game. The specific bug fixes will be confirmed in the final official announcements during the update releases. It is your ongoing love and support that drives us to do our best to create a game that can live up to your expectations and be enjoyed by you, our commanders, for a long time to come. Thank you. Goddess of Victory, Nikke, Director, Yu Hyung Seok, and the development team and operations team. Alright, so, yo, I'm so glad that they are finally doing this. There are some additional ones, for example, character specific ones, Heron bug, whatever bug. But yeah, we'll see if those are the skill description wrong, like they've mentioned, or is it actually bug. So for now, we'll just have to wait and see. In the latest patch, uh, I believe we're gonna have a new patch tomorrow. So I'm gonna be very excited. We're gonna have Laplace coming in. I'm still thinking if I'm gonna pull for her. But hey, 
we'll see what goes on. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, death note session. As always, subscribe if you want more news for Nikkei. Give this video a like. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.